What is good YouTube? It is your boy Anime Double Hunter and I hope everyone's having an awesome day. I hope you guys had a great start to your new year even though we're only like what four days in. I wish you all a great year and with that being said today we are going to be talking about how Luffy will defeat Kaido. Wano is slowly but surely approaching the end and we only have a few amount of fights left with Luffy and Kaido being the main big battle to you know bring close to this arc hopefully because we don't know Oda could do something funny and have Ryza vs Fukurokujo end the arc. <laughs> that'd be crazy, but that'd be also hilarious. Anyways, um, the fandom has had so many ideas as to how Luffy's going to defeat Kaido. Um, and we're definitely going to go over all that in this video. But before we do that, if you are new to Anime Devil Hunter, welcome. Here in the channel, we cover all sorts of awesome One Piece content, weekly reviews from time to time. You know, college classes are a pain sometimes. Um, ability explain videos character explain videos and a whole bunch of more awesome one piece content so definitely subscribe and join the channel um drop a like if you end up enjoying this video and comment down below on how you think luffy is going to defeat kaido now with that being said let us begin so um like i said there are a few possible routes that the fandom has been saying over and over and we're gonna go over each one and i'm gonna say which one i think is the best at the end of the video let's first start with the first one luffy unlocking gear fifth so um this is possible but I think it's highly unlikely and I think it doesn't make sense. You know, there's the whole thing with people saying, oh, Luffy doesn't need to master Gear 4th in order to make Gear 5th. I think Gear 5th will make sense once, you know, Luffy has refined all his hockey technique. Once he's, you know, mastered each of the hockey abilities, he has them and he's really good with them. But once he masters all of them, I think it's going to make sense for him to implement a gear system where he can maximize all his hockey techniques as well as bring in all the best of each gears into one i think that make the most sense and then we'll have the gear fifth and i think it'll be best for him to pull that out against you know blackbeard and then we see that also against emu you know during the final war i think that makes sense um so yeah that's the gear fifth i don't think luffy's getting gear fifth in wano i don't think it makes sense and I honestly don't want it to happen but on the case it does happen you know it is what it is at the end of the day you might as well just accept it instead of trying to fight it because you know it is what it is okay moving on to the next one um, this is the one I think that is most highly likely. Um, I think Luffy's going to use another variation of Gear 4th, one that's more suited to Conqueror's coding. I think that'd be the best um, way to defeat Kaido, considering when he fought Doflamingo, I mean, when he fought Doflamingo, that was the first time him introducing Gear 4th, but he needed more strength in that battle. Like, it wasn't a matter of speed, and the only way he was gonna like in Katakuri's fight, he needed speed to win. That's the only way he could keep up with Katakuri's observation hockey. But with Doflamingo, he just needed strength. He needed to overwhelm Doflamingo. Well, in, you know, this fight with Kaido is more than that, you know? I mean, strength, of course, is gonna play a huge factor, but the key to beating Kaido is Conqueror's hockey. So him using a gear system with Conqueror's hockey makes the most sense to me. And in all honesty, I think him using another gear variation that's more suited to Conqueror's Kona is going to, you know, please majority of the fandom considering everybody wants a new transformation. You know, there are other people who don't want a new gear, who don't think a new gear makes sense considering, you know, we just got gear fourth in Dressa Rosa, even though that was like what, a well over 300 chapters ago. Um, the next route would be a new gear plus awakening. There are people that have been saying that um, I mean, because Kid and Law have recently got their awakenings, that Luffy is going to get awakening as well. I don't know about this considering, you know, Oda has already given Luffy several power-ups throughout Wano. You know, he's given him Rio. He's got Conqueror's Coden. Most likely, he's going to use another variation of gear fourth. You know, so um, I, I'm opposed to awakening, but if he gets it, you know, he gets it. Uh, okay, so the next one, um, the two routes that I just listed were transformations, awakenings, transformations, you know, you could lump them all in together. The next route is going to be Luffy losing and the Straw teaming up together with Luffy and defeating Kaido. I'm opposed to this idea considering Zoro and Sanji, they look like they're done, you know. Like Zoro, I, I think Zoro has done more than enough throughout this arc, like Zoro's He's, he, he took, what, two t attacks from both Yonko. He scarred Kaido. You know, he did a lot on the rooftop, you know, because he was doing a lot. He was fighting both Big Mom and Kaido. Throughout the whole entire battle on the rooftop, Luffy, his attentions was not turned to Big Mom at least once. His main focus was Kaido. He wanted to take down Kaido. Now, that being said, that was already enough for Zoro. But then Oda went on to go ahead and make him fight King. And he just took down Kaido's right hand, man. I think Zoro's had enough for this arc. Um, I'll go ahead, you know, let Zoro go ahead and take his rest, be out. I don't think 
there's always going to be out for the next two arcs, but, you know, probably majority of the next arc, you know, Zoro's going to be out for the count. But Zoro, he's, he's done his thing in Wano, so I'm opposed to that. Um, as for Sanji, Sanji, he looks like he's pretty burnt out, but Sanji can still fight. Um, there have been people that are going around and saying Robin needs to be protected. Even though CP0 recently have turned their attention away from Robin, Sanji could be the one to protect Robin against anybody that tries to capture her. Uh, but, you know, Sanji seems like he's out for the count as well. Dazzle Strass, I don't see them doing really much against Kaido. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and rule that out. And I'm I'm really liking the idea of Kaido and Luffy coming down to a 1v1, you know. Oda has made this fight come to be more than just Luffy taking out an Emperor, you know. This is, it has Joy Boy involved, you know. This is Luffy's a step closer to becoming King of the Pirates, you know. Freeing Wano, you know, all that's factoring in. I think the Strass have done their thing, you know? Even though you can make the argument that some of the fights in this arc have been very underwhelming. You feel like the Strauss could do more or order maybe send them up for something else. Uh, I think for the most part, they've done their thing, you know. The only person who I wish could get a moment is Usopp, considering Usopp is one of my favorite characters. But then again, Oda seems to be saving something huge for Usopp. Because, you know, Elbath, that's Usopp's arc. Everybody knows that. Then the next rap could be Luffy loses and then he fights Kaido again. Even though I do agree with, you know, more shout out Morge and Oda people that believe the rating failing even though i do believe wano somewhat lacks i'm not gonna say somewhat wano lacks a lot of tension in my opinion because you know this is all opinion based at the end of the day all personal preference wano lacks a lot of tension but even though that's the case i think this arc has dragged out for way too long like it wano has been amazing you know that's top five best arcs in this series whether or not you like wano or not like it's very important to the story the lore the backstories all the stuff hinting towards Endgame, Wano is very important to the story. It's like it's a huge part of the story. So it's impossible to like place it out of top five in terms of importance to the story. You could probably even put it in top two, you know. But with that being said, yeah, I'm opposed to the idea of Luffy losing to Kaido again. I think, you know, the final battle is right here and now. Luffy is, and Kaido, they're going to go ahead and, you know, handle their business and end this fight right here and right now. So yeah, um, that is how I see Kaido going down. I'm a I'm with the idea of Luffy unlocking a new variation of Gear 4 that's more suited to Conqueror's Conan. But then again, Luffy's going one-on-one -on -one with Kaido in base form. We might not even get a new gear. We could just possibly just have him go with Bauman. But Oda has been drawing a lot of tigers in his color spreads recently. So then again, the likelihood that we might get a new variation of Gear 4 is highly possible. So, yeah. Anyways, man, um, I probably went all over the place in this video. <laughs> probably going to be a pain in the ass to edit. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, drop a like if you did. Hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. Um, I think I might do a video with the top 10 best chapters in Wano. Yeah, I think that sounds like a great idea. So um, definitely go ahead and drop a like and comment if you want to see that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have an awesome day.